Hi, my name is Jess Paulus. I'm a senior director of real world research at Antara. I'm here today to be talking about the work that we presented at ASCO this morning. Um, this was a description of secular trends in the stage at presentation for patients with lung cancer in the community oncology setting in the United States. This was a retrospective study of real world data that was emanating from um, the US Oncology Network. The study was enabled by the existence of a oncology specific electronic health record platform called iNOMED that is deployed throughout the US oncology network, um, a network of community oncology practices that um, has great geographic representation of the United States. So we were able to study trends in stage at initial presentation to this network for patients with small cell and non-small cell lung cancer from the years 2013 to 2023. Um, we ended up with approximately 100,000 patients with lung cancer, about 85,000 of them had non-small cell lung cancer and 15,000 had small cell lung cancer. Um, the main takeaway from our research presentation today was that we notice a shift in stage at presentation towards more advanced stage at diagnosis. So over this 11 year span approximately, we saw a shift towards a higher proportion of patients presenting with stage three and particularly stage four disease upon entry or upon care by the community oncology network. Um, we also secondarily noticed a more pronounced shift in stage at presentation or a stage at presentation to the US oncology network around the years 2020 and 2021, right after 2019, which of course, as we all know, corresponds to the um, beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. So this trend that we noticed around um, increased stage at presentation in the years 2020 and 2021 is consistent with what we've observed for other primary cancers aside from lung cancer, um, as well as across other data sources that are capturing stage at diagnosis. Um, you know, perhaps this is due to delays in screening behaviors due to um, differential resource allocation as part of the pandemic due to patient behaviors during the pandemic, um, as well as, again, provider resource allocation during the pandemic. So, um, you know, this work we think is really important in terms of providing a description of the burden of stage four, stage three disease, advanced stage disease for small cell and non-small cell for community oncology providers. It can be used to justify um, really appropriate resource allocation to make sure that the right type of care is available for patients, the right resources, um, as well as the right kinds of resources for um, oncology practitioners, advanced care practitioners, as well as oncologists in the community oncology setting. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.